Hi guys, my name is Fire Fire, and welcome back to another episode of Dyson Sphere Program. And today, we are what we're going to do today. Look at this beautiful planet. Well, we're pretty much going to decimate it because we're going to turn this whole planet into a chemical factory. That's right, we're going to turn it into a chemical factory. And the reason being is it's got a load of crude oil. I mean, like, hey, start a planet. I had quite a bit of crude oil. I thought it was quite decent. And that was only 22 per, sec uh, per second. This is 161 per second. That's going to... It's just going to blow us away. And it's got this organic crystal, which, you know what? Four million of that is pretty decent. It's got a lot of coal here, so we can make um, the energetic graphene, which is kind of obsolete, but we will use it for a bit. Um, actually, there are a few products later on that have it in there. It's got a bit of uh, stone and it's got a bit, well, not a bit, it's got a lot of silicon and some iron ore. Now, I'm not going to worry about these two. I may do something with the silicon, but the main focus today is water, coal, and these two bad boys. And we're going to build on pretty much everything. So, um, I bought some foundations with me, but looking at this planet, I don't know if that's going to be enough. <laughs> um, I've only got about, I think it's 4,000 of these. Yeah. But let's just start putting some of these down. So I want, is it the oil refineries? I don't believe it is. It's the extractors, isn't it? It is. And I've, only, I've got 20 of them. I can make more. Um, I've got more than enough products hanging around in other places to make more of these. Now, I don't know if I should put like a logistics station here, put all the um, oil, crude oil in there and make refineries elsewhere. That might be a plan. And it's just an easy way to collate it. Now, I don't know how many actual veins are on this planet. I'm assuming quite a lot. Look at this one here. Oh, there's a, ooh. There's an 8.3 over here. And another one, uh, where was it, down here. Okay, so I'm looking to make 30 per second. If they're doing like 8.3 and all this malarkey, I only really need to have four of them. Um, and I'll still have over 30 per second. And the reason why I want 30 per second is because that's the MK3 belts. So, if I do these four for now, I can bung a logistics station right here. That makes sense to me. And then we can just bung the conveyor belts in there. Now, I may put some more. I'm not sure just yet or I may do another logistic station and do it from there now the way I'm going to power this base we've got a lot of coal we've got which can make a lot of uh, energetic graphene so you know what I'm just going to make some thermal reactors for now I think near the end of this I will um, well near the end of it near when once we get the ability I will make artificial stars to power each planet because they just seem so much more efficient. So I think that is the best thing to do. So let's get these bad boys in here. Now, I love the fact that these logistic stations have multiple entry and outputs, inputs and outputs. It just makes doing the conveyor belt so much easier. All right. So that should be an easy um, 30 a second, which is like 1,800 um, a minute. But we've still got room for more. So I can put one here, to be honest. Because, so on that one belt, I can have 30 per second. This is, let's say that is 88, so that's 16. That's nowhere near the amount that belt can handle. So I might as well 
Let's put some more. Now, this is going to take a lot of conveyor belt work. This is going to take, I'm assuming this is going to take a lot of power, this planet, because chemical production, we're going to need a lot of them. Look how many I've got. And I don't even think that's going to be enough. We still need water production and then oil refineries takes loads and loads of power. Look at that work consumption, 960 kilowatts. If I was to use one of these, it would need at least four of these to power or one of these. With a thermal generators, I can power uh, two with one thermal generator. So even then, I don't think I'll have enough. I may have to get some mini fusion reactors. That may be an option. Oh, there's another one here. Lovely. Just where I want it. So that there should be nearly a full um if we do eight 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 it's not so much eight these are like seven so eight eight and seven seven that's pretty much 30 per second so that will fill up that logistics station extremely fast now i don't know if i'll have enough robots to deal with the amount of products i'll be getting in so i'm not going to put more on this side yet we're going to leave it as is for now now I'm going to quickly build some power because we need to get that going. So we need coal. Preferably I want to be making again 1,800 per second uh, per minute. Per second would be crazy. So if I find two coal veins quite close to each other, we can do that there. Because I don't want to use up two. Uh, there we go. Look at that. I don't want to use up too much of my conveyor belts. Alright. Oh, that's right on the polar. The North Pole or the South Pole. I don't know which one it is. That one, but it's right there. Alright, so I'm going to quickly make a production of this and I'll see you in a sec. Okay, so I have some power coming in, but this is going to be nowhere near enough. I realized it's just going to, it's just not going to, it's not going to cut it. Um, we're already using pretty much 40% just the power and mine. <laughs> that's that's it. So, um, yeah. I think I will need to either spam this area with thermal generators or get some mini fusion reactors. Now, I am stocking up on some graphene here just to keep uh, stock there if I need it. Um, let's connect up these... Uh, these what are they called again? Oil refinery? No, oil extractors. Oil extractors. There you go. Alright. Get that in there. Then I need to get you across here somehow. Oh, that works perfectly. And then... That's sort of one side of it done. Once I get this last one. Cool. Power seems to be okay still. Um, let's connect up this logistics station. And let's see then. Okay, okay. It's not too bad, but we haven't started any sort of processing yet. <laughs> so that's gonna be a bit crazy. It's stuck there because I haven't input it in. But what I would like to see is this. Now that I've got four of them running, would I be hitting uh, 1,800 a minute or 30 a second, should I say? So that can go in there. That's slowly going to go up. We don't want to see 10 minutes, we want to see one minute. Okay, it's going up. Let that do its thing for a bit. We are going to try and get some more power down here. No, I can't put you anywhere there. There you go. <clears throat> Excuse me. Should be drinking my water. All right. And that one there. Cool. So that, that is going up pretty high now. We should be over 1,800 uh, per minute. And it looks like it's going to reach there. It's going up quite fast. And that's getting filled up 
lovely, nicely, very nicely. Um, let's take another look at it. Yeah, look at that, way over. <laughs> it's, it's still going up pretty far. Maybe over 200, 2,500. Producing 1,800 worth of coal. We're using 1,800 worth of coal to make 900 graphene per minute. Now, I could make more than that actually, because I put 60 smelters down, that should make 1,800. So I could actually add more coal to that and that would be fine. Oh, oh, is it gonna hit? Yeah, maybe, okay, well, we'll leave that as that is. That's a decent production of oil there. Now let's get um, some drones in here for when we need it. There you go, 50 drones in there. Lovely, jubbly. Now, what do I want to do with this? I want to be processing all that um, crude oil into refined oil. Now, I'm going to need at least 60 of these, and I've only got 52. <laughs> I could make more. In fact, I mostly will have to make more. And I, I want to make like 120 of them. I want to be producing a lot of um, refined oil. Now let's just see what it does. Is there any recipes? So it only has the two recipes. So I can actually make graphene and hydrogen using refined oil. So you can do a little loop there, I guess, because but it will use more hydrogen than it is than I'm producing if I'm making a loop. So I will run out of hydrogen. But well, actually, you make the extra hydrogen when you make that. So you could actually recycle the hydrogen and just make graphene, pretty much. And two hydrogen. Graphene and two hydrogen. That's not bad. That's not bad. So, yeah, we're going to put oil in there and it's going to make refined oil, crude oil, and we're going to make refined oil. So I want to place quite a lot of them. I want to find a nice little space here maybe here and I want to place maybe about 120 of them just so I know I've got enough so I'm gonna have to definitely go and build more I'm gonna need to get more foundations as well because I've nearly run out and I've just started there you go run out foundations run out so fast so how are we gonna do this All right, let's, let's just start placing down and see what it looks like. So I wanna check the grid as well. Now if it's so close to this station, I don't really need drones in there, do I? But just in case I wanna transport it around other parts of the world. Now what is the best way to do this? Is it like that or is it like that? I, from experience, I feel like this is the better way to pull it. So if I want to put 120, oh that's going to be a lot. Oh you can put it closer than that. Or oh, is that just the grid? Being the grid that it is. Um, where are you? Here we are. Oh no you can put it close. Oh I like that. So 120 divided by, um, I don't want to divide it by two because that would just be too long. That would be 60. So let's say I want to put 20. So that would be six lines. Oh, that's a lot. Let's see how that looks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I got seven there, right? Four, eight, nine, ten. That would be a lot as well, to be honest. And it'll be six lines coming down. Or I can do 12 lines of 10. Now, how far does that go down? Hmm, that's interesting. And if I want to get a cable in there, or a belt, should I say, how close can I put the other one? Okay, quite close. Oh, it's not, yeah, it was the grid that made it go closer. That's five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, and ten. Mm, this is why I don't like the spherical grid. <laughs> it messes everything up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, it's the same. And then we've got a small conveyor belt in there. Like so. Um, okay, so this looks pretty cool. It's going to be massive. It'll come out to about here. So I'm, I may just make it up to 20 to make six lines. Yeah, let's do that because we've got to think about outputs as well. So I'm going to put 20 of these down and like always, I'll see you in a sec. And I am back. All right. So, um, yeah, that was a lot. So I had to uh, up the power outage because when I boot this thing up, it's, it's going to take a lot of power. So let, let's go check it out, if I can find it again. Should be able to find it, it's massive. Look at that. <laughs> That's 120 oil refineries. I mean, look at that, that's just crazy. That is crazy. I, I don't know if I produce enough crude oil to even make it work. But if we take a look at the idle consumption, right now it's not doing anything and it's demanding 23.5 megawatts. That's doing nothing. Um, I think that's gonna take a lot of it until it charges. And if we look at our actual consum uh, demand, or not demand or consumption, generation, we are, no, no, that's the, that's the wrong thing. Anyways, we're producing about 93 with all the thermal. Uh, generators so I don't even think I'll be able to maintain that I may need to put more thermal generators now I'm looking for a good place to attach the power so it's mostly going to be around here I would say yeah somewhere around here so let's go down here and let's see where we can attach the power. So this is actually running. So again, this is at 96 megawatts. It's demanding 2.63. Everything's idle. But once we connect this bad boy, <gasps> I'm actually so scared. Okay. It's all up and running. You know what? That's not too bad. And that's because it's still idle. <laughs> I just realized it is still idle. So we need to actually change that. Now, it's going to start producing. Power consumption is going to start going up. Ooh, is it gonna is it gonna be too much it's most likely gonna be too much isn't it <laughs> let's take a look at this while we're waiting for that so I'm producing a lot of crude oil now this should go up to around 1800 this should go up to about actually this should go up to more than 1800 I believe I'm not too sure we'll see but again, there you go. Not producing enough power. So, and there's a lot that are not getting done. So let's, oops, I went into that mode by accident. But it got me here, so that's fine. So let's uh, start generating more of this power. Wow. Yep, definitely not producing enough power. Let's get more of done. Luckily, I did build quite a few um and hopefully that will save me let's see if that will be okay going like that that seems to be okay would that be okay going in there that seems to be okay so happy days happy happy days and let's get another set down i'm gonna have to make eventually um mini fusion reactors 
these thermal generators just don't do enough. Nowhere near enough. All right. Another, what was that? What did I start on? 21? So I've put down 17. Let's see how that rocks and rolls. Let's see if that helps us out a bit. And I gotta be making sure. Okay, what's going on here? What is going on here? I gotta make sure that I'm producing enough of this as well. The energetic graphene. Is it energetic graphene? I don't know. I don't know. All right. So it's still yellow. You can see by the outline when I click the thermal. So I'm still not producing. Oh, it's gone to blue. It's gone to blue. It means I'm keeping up. There we go. That might actually be enough. Yep. Just about. And I might get some batteries down here at some point just to save the extra energy. But look at that. Nearly 3,000 refined oil and nearly 150, well, 1,500 hydrogen. Whew. We've got a lot to play with. We have a lot to play with. Um, it's hit 3,000 now. Damn. That's hit 1,500. Let's go and check this out. This is going to get filled up pretty fast. Yeah, that's pretty much done already. All right. So with that, guys, I think we'll put this as a sort of two-parter. Um, the next episode, we're going to use all that refined oil and that hydrogen to make either plastic. Well, we're going to most probably make plastic because that's one of the main things you can make with refined oil. And just use a lot of chemical stations and see how much we can use. So again, guys, thank you very much for watching. Like if you like the video and subscribe if you haven't already just to find out more videos or upcoming videos. And I'll see you in the next episode. Peace.